right here at Manny's shop. He's going to be getting his axle sandblasted, ready to go, taking off the brake calibers. He got some new setup, different setup. Perfect. And this is my ugly stuff right there. Manny's going to get it sandblasted. I'm just going to spray over the rust. That's the way I roll. That's why Manny trucks are nicer than mine. Look at it. Look at it. Brand new frame, brand new springs, brand new gas lines, gas tank, custom gas tank shield. It goes on and on and on. New brand new 16 gallon gas tanks. Yeah. How much that Jackals. 20 gallons. 20 gallons. Excuse me. I already said something wrong. There's too much stuff to know, man. I, I, you have to talk to Manny. If y'all want to talk to Manny, he's right there. But 20 gallon gas tanks. That means he's going to be rolling with two 20 gallon gas tanks. One on the passenger, one on the driver's side. With a nice 383 stroker. There you go. There it is. With the NV4500 transmission. Pimpin. There's a bumper. Got everything all torn apart. There's his cab. He's about to get it all redone. Got doors. Got it all loaded up. Gonna be taking it to the sandblaster. He's gonna get it all brand new and clean. For Manny's truck. Uh, the reason we're cleaning it is because he's going to be putting on the Raptor kit from Kurt at DIY4X.com. And this is the kit right here. Comes with the diff cover, the tubing, the diff guard, the bracket for the axle pumpkin, everything. And all it's for is for uh, anti wrap. And it bolts right into the center. If you haven't seen it before, check it out at DIY4X.com. Here's the rest of it. Ah. See his custom work right there. DIY 4X. Nice. Blast the path. We're here at the Sand Blasters. We're going to be dropping off Manny's 14 bolt. All brand new. This dude got to do it while we're here. Oh yes? Yeah. Oh heck yeah. I mean, we're gonna watch him sandblast it off. So he got a bunch of old cars. He just picked up his axle and put it down. That's one way to move it right there. Get the blasting part in here. Nice car right here. Look at this the old Jeep Willy. I don't know what the heck it is. It's got the Jeep front end. We got a wagon. We got a truck. I don't think that's the same thing, but it's a 4x4. Freaking awesome. Look at this sucker. Damn, this will be fat to make it all 4x4. Four four. Can, can you imagine this rock crawling? Some 44s? Oof. Damn.
freaking off. Got the old military mud tires on it. Freaking awesome. Full rail drive. Little bitty axle. I guess it's a Willy. A Wagoneer? Dude, can you imagine this thing fixed up? Alright, they're done sandblasting uh, Manny's axles. This is what they look like after they've been sandblasted. It looks gray, huh? huh. Why does it come out looking gray? That's just the natural color? That's a uh, natural color of steel. Natural color of steel? Gray. I was surprised when I first started. That's a weird looking color. That's crazy, it looks gray. Ready for paint, guy cleaning up. I'm ready for paint. I, I, I love nice and clean. I love it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna load this puppy up back in my truck. Alright, got Manny's axle back to the shop. Yeah, yeah. All sandblasted, ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Manny got his uh, Raptor kit all mocked up. Look at this. Oh, so pretty. I don't know, but uh, Kurt can weld like a son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Got the Guardsman on there. Got the bracket. The tubing goes all the way from here all the way over there and it has two. We got one on the top, one on the bottom, so it doesn't wrap. And all you gotta do is weld. Well there, and weld there. And the cool thing is that all this is unboltable. So if you do need to take some stuff apart, it's unboltable. Pretty neat. I think I'm gonna have to get one for the crusher. Yeah, I look sharp. <laughs> <laughs>